I will admit that I'm a little late to the game. What I'm talking about is Meshtastic. Meshtastic is an open source decentralized mesh networking protocol that enables off-grid communication with inexpensive radio devices. Since I've recently been bit by the Meshtastic bug, I want to show you this. What I have is the ThinkNode M5. The M5 is a high performance, low RA or long range communication device. This compact meshtastic transceiver has three big things going for it. An ESP32-S3 processor, built in GPS module, and an EPD or electronic paper display. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the ThinkNode M5, its features, and if this would be an appropriate meshtastic device for your needs. Thank you to Elecro for supplying the ThinkNode M5 for this review. Links to the product can be found in the video description below. But like my, all my other reviews, my opinions are my own without any outside influence. So let's take a look at the ThinkNode M5 meshtastic device. The ThinkNote M5 is a high-performance LoRa or long-range communication device. It comes pre-installed with the MeshTastic firmware and is compatible with the MeshTastic app. When you purchase the M5, you will receive the MeshTastic device itself, a two-page user guide, a small antenna for the 906 MHz ISM channel, and a USB-C interface cable. In using your MeshTastic devices, always connect an antenna before turning the power on. Not having an antenna attached will damage the unit when it transmits. The ThinkNote M5 features a 1.54 inch EPD or electronic paper display. The paper white display consumes little power and is quite visible in bright sunlight. The unit has a variable backlight by twisting the top knob of the unit. Other features of the M5 are LoRa signal transceiver using the SX1262 chip, internal GPS, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi connectivity, and a 1200 milliamp hour internal battery. Along the side of the unit are two buttons and a switch. The switch allows you to manually turn the GPS off and on, and the two buttons page through the menus and select items. Most of the functions on the M5 can be accessed through the menu system on the unit or you can use the MeshTastic app for configuring and operating your M5. Along the bottom you'll see the little menus. So if I'm on a, um, at the home screen, if I press long press, I get toggle backlight, send position, and new preset message. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next screen. Messages, long press. I can send a new preset message or go back. And the flashing is a artifact of the um, uh, e-ink, e-display. Uh, last heard, long press. Uh, add favorites, trace route, key verification, and reset node. Um, go back. Switch over to hops signal. Long press. Add to favorites, trace route, key verification, and reset again. So you can you can create, you know, if you've got a node that you like, you know, that you message frequently, you can set it as one of your favorites or as a hop one of your favorites. Distance, long press, um, bearings, add to favorites, trace route, key verifications, reset, no, again. Ah, I didn't want to do that. Come on. Let's go back. Position, another GPS, uh, G, GPS toggle, GPS format, and compass. Again, I don't have the GPS set up in here. Okay. 
Okay, let's go back. Oh. LoRa info. Device role, radio preset, LoRa region. Again, we're at system. Notifications, we can uh, frame visibility toggles, Bluetooth toggle and reboot or shut down. There's a clock, we can set the clock on here. Clock face, time format and time zone, get that all set up. And uh, favorites. I can send a preset message to my favorite, which is my other device. Come on. And the message goes. Been delivered. There we go. Pretty cool. What do I think about the Think Node M5? I am relatively new to the Mesh Tastic game, so my experience with a wide array and depth of devices is limited. With that being said, my experience with unconnected communication protocols like APRS or the Automated Packet Reporting System is extremely deep. I understand what it takes for a mesh style network to develop, and I can see the role these small devices play in that network. With that said, the ThinkNote M5 is a full-featured MeshTastic device, and it delivers the full support of the MeshTastic protocol. I haven't found any failings yet on its ability to operate in that regard. The display is easy to read, even in bright sunlight, thanks to the EPD or electronic paper display. The antenna is okay, not the best, but also not the worst out there. I also like that the GPS function can be turned on and off with a switch on the M5 unit itself. Which brings me to the downside of the ThinkNode M5. The 1200 milliamp hour battery is woefully undersized for this device. The ESP32-S3 processor is great in that it runs faster and has more capability than other MeshTastic processors, but it requires more power and with all the features turned on, I have found that my M5 runs for as little as 12 hours on a single charge. Turning off features like Wi-Fi and GPS and not using the backlight at all will greatly enhance your battery life. All in all, the ThinkNode M5 isn't bad. It's one of those devices that you can let sit on your desk to monitor the MeshTastic network. It's got a removable antenna and with Wi-Fi support. Add an external power source and a high gain antenna and I think you would have a really good foundation for a high profile client node. The ThinkNode M5 is available at elecro.com. Links are in the video description below. Thank you to Elecro for sending me an M5 for review. Do you have any questions about the ThinkNode M5 or MeshTastic in general? Well, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for watching. You have a great day in 73.